Chitty Matejek here, Life Mastery Consultant. Hey peeps, it's December 1st, 2017. And uh, welcome to everyone who's on here live. Live, 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 comment and love. I wanted to talk to you today about writing a December vision. Yep, a vision for the month of December. December. So often we take time to write a vision for three years out, for uh, the, you know, and way out there in the future. And today I wanted to talk to you about the importance of taking smaller time frames and chunking it. So we're chunking down, <laughs> chunk, you know, uh, writing a December vision. So today is December 1st. Look at this, December in Texas. How's that? <laughs> December in Texas. Yeah. Uh, and it's December 1st. So let's write a vision from December 31st. So let's just uh, imagine this beautiful mind of ours. Imagine that it's December 31st. It is um, New Year's Eve. And we're looking back and reverse engineering our month of December. We get to create this. That's what this beautiful more. Hi guys, everybody's coming on. <laughs> there you go. So we're going to um, put ourselves imaginally in December 31st. Some of you are going goes, oh my God, no, I don't have time. I'm like, yes, you do. There's five minutes. Okay. Put your imagine on December 31st and we're looking back and reflecting on December 2017. And and so what is it that you would like to call forth for the month of December? Now, I'll tell you how I do this. So I look at my calendar for December and I see all of the activities that are scheduled on there. Now, the, the key is who am I being in each one of those activities, right? So if I'm looking at it from December 1st, I might go, oh, you know, I'll hire you. But you know what? I get to choose how I'm going to be in every single thing I do this month, this week, this day. So here we go. Um, I am, and always start out with, I am so happy and grateful now that the first place that we're starting is in our thinking, okay? I'm so happy and grateful now that I am being a person of increase all through the month of December. That's my vision. It doesn't have to be yours, but it's a good one. I am so happy and grateful now that I am being healthy, fit, and flexible and free. <laughs> you know what? When I say that and when, every day, I'm going to have to make some different choices. I know there's some good food out there and exercises. Who am I being in conversations this month? There might be conversations where you, in order to be a more empowered you, you might have to walk away from some of the conversations or else bless them and bless the world. Who am I being this December? So the first step, step one, is to think it. Put it in. It's December 31st. You are so happy and proud of yourself that you were of... Um, the best you you could be through the whole month of December. Okay? So will you think it? Step one. The second step is to ink it. Hmm, what do you mean by that? Ink it. Well, it's one thing to think, you know, ahead. You know, to think of a vision. But it really, the more empowering thing to do is to ink it. In other words, put pen to paper pen to paper and on the top of your page put I am so happy and grateful now that right I was a hundred percent healthy fit flexible and free you know I radiate a warm beautiful energy of aliveness in every day in every conversation that I'm in um, what's another one I am at peace with who I am and who I am becoming and then at the bottom, this or something better still. Sign it and date it, right? Okay. Now, just from the simple act of thinking it and inking it, guess what's going to happen? Everything that is not unlike your vision will come up, not to challenge you, but for your opportunity to grow, to grow beyond circumstances. 
So um, one of the things I found, I write this a lot, I am at peace with who I am and who I am becoming. You know, hit like or comment, you know, thumbs up if that's something you would like to claim for yourself. Being at peace with who you are and who you are becoming. I like it. I see a lot of my friends there from all over the world. I love Facebook Live. All right. Okay. So think it, ink it, and that's just two of the energy steps because guess what? Manifestation is first comes with the... Um, it's an art and science. The art of manifestation is your vision. Think it, ink it. And then the science is the vibrational match. So taking that vision, reading it, putting on your mirror, becoming that person, coming that person from December 31st, every single day of this month, you know, is the science. Becoming that vibration. Cool? Cool beans? Can I hear a thumbs up? Anybody else want to claim December is the best month of the year so far? Thumbs up, thumb, 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 thumb. there you go. I love it. Click, click, click. The first step is to on December 1st, which is today, get it down, think it, ink it, send it to me. <laughs> you know, I'll be your partner in believing and holding that vision for December. That's just it. That's what I do. I do that every day now. Send your vision to me, Judy Matejcik at lifemasterconsultant.com. And let's set up a conversation about that vision. How can I support you through this beautiful month of December? I would love a conversation with you. I carve out special times just for conversations with people who are new to visioning and new and seeing how I can support them. I love the fact that my clients right now, if you're a client of mine, <laughs> you are writing a vision for your month of December. Mm -hmm. And sending it to me so that whenever we have a conversation, we have that vision, we measure how we're doing towards the vision. Now, are we going to get it 100% perfect? Some of you may, some of you are not. But you know what? It's just the fact that you're claiming it. You're claiming this month. You're claiming who you are right here, right now. Because once you claim it for the month, right, and you do it, then you can write a weekly vision. How are you measuring up to your monthly vision? You know, without something to measure it, our lives go back and forth and we are victims of circumstance, we're victims of situations, we're victims of con uh, conditions, you know, because, and we get thrown off course, right? Claim it. Claim who you are in this month of December. Claim your radiant beauty. I love it. <laughs> You know, I love the fact that I live, you know, if I wasn't shooting this, I probably wouldn't see these beautiful flowers. Let me show you some of the other claiming being fully awake. Look at this. Oops. I hope you can see these. I'm not even sure what kind of flowers these are. Let me go like this. Ah, Melita would know. <laughs> Melita, what are these? <laughs> All right. I love the fact that all through here, just right here in this energy, we've got Texas energy, uh, oh, Pennsylvania energy. You know, we got energy here for people who just tuned in. Hi, Karen, John, woo! Wow, look at all these people. Mary Jo. Okay, there you go. What kind of flowers are these in Texas? I can guarantee you that people on this call do not know because they do not live here. And look at these. I love December in Texas. Okay, so let me get back here. We are just popping on. And I want to do a recap of this. <laughs> I love it. And do you guys know that I post these and that you can share share this message with whoever you think just may need a message about December today? There's so many people that I know out there who have just lost loved ones. You know, and man, do they need your positive energy right now. You know, they need, they need you and you need you to remember who you are. If you're breathing, we, we have a lot to give yet. 
Yes, we have comfort, we have compassion, we have joy, we have peace. So to recap what this message is about, we're claiming December as the most authentic, beautiful month of the year. We're claiming it here. We're thinking it. We're thinking of all the activities that we are about to embark on for this month. We're thinking who we are being in each activity, being grateful for each breath and each activity we get to, to, uh, to partake in. We're watching our words that they are only uplifting. How's that for you? I mean, I'm claiming that for myself. You can do this or not. And then not only are we thinking it, but we're inking it. We're writing it down. Now, it's one thing to think thought. When we write it down on paper and claim it as our vision, it's a done deal. You, rem you reminded yourself that you claim that December 1st. Start off with, I am so happy and grateful now that... We're writing it from December 31st. You're sending it to me. I'm holding it for you. Set up a conversation with me whenever you feel like slipping or not. Um, thinking it, inking it, and the very last step is to live it. You know, it's one thing to live in a vibration of high energy when you're surrounded by beautiful flowers in a parking lot. And it's another thing to live it even though the clouds are gray, it's raining, um, people are upsetting, you listen to the news and you get so disgusted. Go back to that vision. Who are you being in the day? The world needs more people to become alive and living that vision. What if that was your only gift that you needed to give and get for this season? I was just thinking about that. What if the only gift that people would really, really appreciate would be a more generous, a more loving, a more kind you. Gina Matejcik, Life Mastery Consultant. Think it, ink it, live it. Write that December vision down, who are you are being. Be at peace with who you are and who you are becoming. Just from watching this, I know that you are a person of increase in love and compassion. Share this, like it, do whatever it is, but be the best you you can. Dream big, dream bold, accomplish brilliantly. Happy December.